For many, going out to sea means escaping from the stress of the city, leaving the moorings, leaving the port and gradually seeing the coast becoming increasingly smaller. Somehow, all this makes us feel freer, at least until the stocks of fuel, food, but above all water run out and we must return to port. The demand for greater water autonomy and the technological evolution have allowed the launch on the market of the watermakers, a machine that within itself creates a high pressure that generates a reverse osmosis process, which makes the water salt free. Today, with the Boat Show, we have taken you to one of the most innovative companies on the market, HP Watermakers. So let's take advantage of our being here and find out how the desalination process works. To be able to drink seawater, you need a complete package of onboard water management, which is divided into three different moments desalination, remineralization, and sterilization. The splitting of salt from the water happens in here. This is an RP tronic machine, and as we said before, it can compress water at up to 60 atmospheres. Here, due to a reverse osmotic process, the water passes through membranes that retain the salt. The water that comes out is therefore salt free and is stored in the onboard tanks. From the desalination process, the water comes out osmotic, which is not exactly distilled, but has very low percentages of mineral salts, which is not entirely healthy for our body, and therefore it becomes necessary to remineralize it. The remineralization process takes place by means of the HP Genius machine, which reintroduces a perfect mix of mineral salts into the water and to make the water totally drinkable at sterilization process also takes place inside the machine. When in port, the use of the water makers is not recommended because the port water is usually too dirty and the purification membranes would clog up, which is why everyone stocks up with water at the quay. However, this water is normally rich in limestone and on the long run it settles in the tanks, pipes and pumps, damaging the equipment on board. To overcome this problem in the complete onboard water management system, there is also the DEMI-5 system, which, thanks to ion exchange resins, eliminates lime scale from the water. With this, you can supply salt-free water where needed for your onboard utilities, both above and below deck. Now the water is desalinated, remineralized and sterilized, so what is missing to finally be able to taste it? It has to be cold, and for those who like bubbles, they can even have sparkling water. For years it has been known that the water on board has been treated with these systems. So why did I say that HP is the most innovative company in the world of desalination? We will find out very soon, but there is a little hint, integration. Although it is true that these systems have been around for years, it is equally true that the methods of application have never been very comfortable. The captain and the owners are all aware that operating a desalination plant and making it work at its maximum potential and also its shutdown and maintenance are not very simple actions and often require time and attention. In addition, they require that those who have to take care of the system are often required to do so from the engine room in uncomfortable positions and places. Not to mention the pilot house, which had become a potentially infinite college of screens. Thanks to the integration, today we can say goodbye to the vintage charm in managing the desalination plant from our onboard plotter. This is possible thanks to the Partnet system, developed by HP Watermakers, which for the first time puts the desalinator in communication with the onboard plotter system and the internet connection. But how does it work? To better understand how it works and appreciate its innovative functions, we need to know what an automatic watermaker is. 
Unlike normal desalinators, this autonomously maintains pressure and can be switched on and off remotely. Also, at the end of each work cycle, it autonomously completes a membrane washing cycle. This allows the RP-tronic machine to be managed from the cockpit without necessarily having to go down to the engine room, or from the control panel or plotter, or if you are connected to the internet, even from any type of device. For a year now, the major manufacturers of onboard electronic instrumentation such as Raymarine, Garmin, Furuno and Navico have granted installation on their plotters of third-party applications. And HP Watermakers was the first company in the industry to develop its own app. One of the most frequently asked questions is, can I use it in navigation? The answer is yes. Can you hear that? The sounds of the factory remind us that technological innovations improve day by day, so that our stay on board is more comfortable than ever. What do you think will be the next innovation?